Okay guys, I'm here today with Marcos Sinoco, huge honor for me. And guys, today we're gonna go over here the coolest jiu-jitsu concept that I learned from Lucas Lepre. And guys, that's actually from his, from his latest instructional video all about how to pass the collar's leave guard. And the, uh, I was watching the instructional and the, in the very beginning, like he does one thing to kill the collar's leave guard. That's a very simple concept that uh, the way he does is amazing. And I would love to share that with you guys. And a little disclaimer here, Lucas, if I'm doing this wrong, I ask apologize, but I, I really like the detail. And uh, I'm not the type of person who passes the guard standing. So I believe that if I can do it, everybody can do it. And uh, you guys will see like uh, how good of detail that uh, was it. And guys, anytime I'm watching Lucas, I try, I always try to pay attention to his posture. Cause in my opinion, he's the guy who has the best posture that I've ever seen. Like, Everything he does is so perfect, and I think it's a lot due to his posture. Like anytime I see him passing, the way he positions like his legs, the way he closes his knees, the way he, he he's never too high, never too low. His knees are always positioned in a way that creates a lot of pressure. So let's look at this. So guys, he was teaching about how to pass this guard here. The collar sleeve guard, when they have the Dela Hiva in one leg, they have foot on the biceps in the other leg, they have the collar and they have the sleeve, okay? So I noticed that he controls the collar, Lucas control, control the collar. And the first thing he does is he makes sure to get rid of this foot on the biceps here. And notice how there's nothing stopping my arm here. Many times I see people getting stuck over here, but they forget that there is no grip over here. So Lucas goes there and turns a little bit, swings his arm in, pushes foot down and comes here and does this. Guys, this was the most fascinating detail for me. Like, Look what he does with his leg. He positions his leg in a way that my opponent's leg cannot come back. Try to bring that leg back, uh, Marcus. It's stuck, okay? So many times I see people doing this, but what everybody does is this, look. And then they can bring the leg up, they can put the foot on the hip, they can do a ton of stuff. What Lucas does with his posture, he moves a little side, he brings his leg in, and then he closes with his knee. And now he's pretty much almost like making a sandwich on his, on his opponent's leg over here. And there is no way to come back. Then he puts this hand on the ground. And as soon as he touches the ground, he goes there. And he sets up the knee cut. And then the job is done pretty much. Now all he has to do is just slide his leg and finish the passing. But as I was saying in the beginning of the video, guys, I love Lucas, Lucas' posture. That Every time I'm watching his instructions... That's the thing that I try to learn the most, how he positioned himself. Because after, it sounds like everything he does goes so easy and so smooth. And I think it's a lot about his posture. So once again, in this situation, they have the De La Riva guard, foot on the biceps and collar sleeve. What he's gonna do, he's gonna go to your side, he's gonna push his leg down. He's not gonna stay like this guys, as everybody does. In the quarter guard here and giving him a bunch of chances. He goes there and he closes his knee behind his knee, his opponent's knee. So now he's stuck over here. There's nowhere to go. He puts his hand on the ground and he brings the knee cut in. Once he got here, he's in trouble. He's just gonna finish the pass and establish his side control. So guys, how many times have you got stuck in the caller's leave guard and sounds like to get out of this position you have to do 100 steps and then you watch Lucas doing and look like looks like so easy and so simple and uh, I love this concept and uh, it blew my mind like how simple it is and I was just telling Marcus that every time I watch one instructional video my goal is to learn one thing that can change my game you know like I, my goal is not to learn every single technique in the structure as long as I learn one thing that can change my game as I learned this instructional, that was worth like millions for me, you know, like, so thoughts, Marcus? Uh, there's a lot of thoughts on that. Uh, it's like, talk about Lucas, it's, it's so, uh, it's easy to, to learn from Lucas passing, but the hardest thing is to learn how he position himself into the technique, which yep. is the hardest thing, right? Yep. The way he behaves into the technique, that's the hardest thing that a lot of people don't pay attention. And he's like, if there is one thing that I always pay attention on Lucas' game is how he position, how he behaves into the connection. 
and that's if I get to know if you get if you understand a little bit how he positions himself, I understand the rest because that's how pays off his that's how he breaks oh. down oh. quick because he position a way that he shut down all the options and Carlos Sleeves is a very annoying guard to, to deal with. The way Luke is behaving to the connections that pays off the way he does. Oh. And guys, uh, we're talking here about the best lightweight in the history of Jiu Jitsu. He won seven world titles as a black belt, which is like super impressive, super hard to do. And another fact that is very curious about Lucas is that he won his first world title in 2007. And then he was pretty much like seven years without winning world titles. And then from 2014 until 2000. 2019 was the last words, right? And since 2019, he won every single year. So 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So that's unbelievable. And, uh, and and again, like anytime I'm watching his instructional videos, I will always pay attention how he positions himself, you know, like how he how he behaves, how how is how are his postures. Because I think at the end of the day, like everybody has great techniques, but I think this is what one thing that differentiates Lucas so much to the others, you know, like so. This little thing that he does with okay. how he positioned his knee yeah. to make sure that the leg can never come back anymore. Yeah. Just think about that. Like think about like how hard it makes for the person on board. You know, like and it's, some, uh, it's something if you win six times, but six times he win. How he, pay attention every match that he does. He positions himself in a way that a lot of people don't do it. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's it's unbelievable. So guys, Lucas has a bunch of instructional videos at bjjfanatics.com. Uh, I love all of them. And uh, so make sure to check that out. And also make sure to check this man's YouTube channel here, Marcus Sinoco, the Big O's channel. Hope you guys enjoy it. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.